Did I just touch my tail? Hey, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know, my name is Valentino. I post videos on fitness tips, hair tips, and whatever else is going on in my life as an actor living in LA. <laughs> So basically today, I just want to get a general census of who is still here for my hair videos. So I'll just go ahead and do a quick little hair update and I'll do a length check. I recently did a trim maybe like a month ago. So yeah, we'll see how my length is going. Um, I really don't know what it was before. But I do have a video with the link check maybe like a year ago. So I'll put that in the description box below. So right now I have, um, I usually just have olive oil and water in my little spray bottle. I'm just adding some to my ends just to make sure. Um, it just makes it easier for me to separate the twist at the end if it's wet. Because if not, I feel like it's going to be more frizzy when I separate it. I should do this one first. But yeah, um, I feel like during my suspension for some reason, YouTube is not showing me like who was subscribing to my channel because my subscriber count was still increasing, but it was like, oh, last subscriber was like a month ago. And I was like, okay, that's weird. But now that I just looked at my, you know, stats and whatnot, I realized that I feel like there's still people subscribing to my channel that would be here for hair videos. So I kinda just wanna know if anybody is still here for hair videos because I feel like my last, yeah, my last hair video didn't even hit a thousand. <laughs> um, so maybe that was just more so the content or you know what it was because it was just a deep do-it-yourself deep conditioning treatment and you know, not everybody is going to actually do that shit. I mean, I love that kind of stuff, so maybe I'm weird. Oh well. But yeah, are you, who's still here? Comment down below if you still want to see hair videos, if you want to see an updated hair routine, because I am doing things a little bit differently now that I am. My hair is getting longer, obviously. Oh, let me finish this. So I also have like honestly saved every product that I've used, like hair product wise, during 2017. Like I literally have like oops, this one won't even close. <laughs> I literally have like this is like full of products. Like I literally have like bags like full of products. And I just want to go through them all, let you guys know what, obviously the repeats I love, I purchased again, and then there are products that I didn't finish, I'll let you know about those. Products that, um, yeah, that's one of them right there, like, I bought it, it's still half full, I was just not feeling it, and it just went to the side. And then products that I did end up finishing, but, you know, found other products that are better. And even, I mean, like, this is my hair product bag now. I mean, there's not that much stuff in there, but it's like my current bag, this is what I take to my booze when I'm like staying over. And then, you know, I can talk about products that I love so much that, you know, I just get, you know, a case full of them. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you would be here for that because I'm definitely willing to share, talk some shit about some products, you know. I feel like most of the, you know, hair people on YouTube just talk about the good products. They never talk about the products that are some shit. And, you know, damn, why ain't nobody sponsoring me? And by sponsoring me, like actually paying me to talk about something, not just giving me free product. So I don't give a fuck. Okay, so, I mean, this is my hair, what it's looking like right now. Um, this was like an old twist out um, that I had in a bun for a few days. And then I just did these two braids and that's been in for a, a couple days now. Um, I definitely feel like my hair is getting longer. So I'll go ahead and measure it for you, let you see. I guess if you, if I just pull it down, it goes, it's straight. 
goes past my nipple. Like, um, like to my tattoo. Yeah, it goes right to my tattoo now. Which is right there. And inches wise, we'll see. This is harder than I thought it was gonna be. Let me try to figure her out. Whew. All right, so this says 16 and a half inches. I guess we should try that again. Maybe try this side to see if they both are the same. So that was 16 and a half inches. Okay. I see this is the same. I guess this one, yeah. It's the same, 16 and a half inches for the back. I think that's longer than what it was before. Definitely. So 16 and a half inches for the back. So I have like a 16 inch week. <laughs> yes. <laughs> JK. But um, let's see what it is in the front. Okay, so the front, this is where I used to have bangs. So this is probably gonna be the shortest area nowadays i'll just pull it down so you can see where it goes in front of my face so it still goes to my chest I'll stop right there so this is 13. I think that's a little bit longer than it was before too. I honestly don't remember at all what it was. I guess we should see, you know, if this size is the same. You know, I did the haircut, so it might not be even. <laughs> yeah, this does seem, no, I don't know, we'll see. Oop, this is 14 and a half. Oop. I'm walking around all lopsided. Oop. I need to take some scissors to this right now. <laughs> this used to be like my longest section. That's 17 and a half. So it is still my longest section. 17 and a half inches at the top. Then it's about 16 and a half at the back. And then the front, well, this side is 14 and a half and this side is 13. So I cut that shit uneven as fuck. But yeah, I think my hair overall definitely is getting longer. But um, that last time I did, uh, well, I did just trim my hair like a month ago. And I probably took about, overall, probably about an, an inch and a half overall off. Um, but I don't think it's grown that much since that last length check. But yeah, if you go back and look, I honestly don't think it's grown as much as it should have since that whole situation. So I think a hair goal for me that I'm going to try to implement is promoting hair growth throughout the year to try to make you know, make my hair flourish, grow. And I think I need to, cause I feel like the whole last year, like the entirety of 2017, I did not trim my hair. And that probably could be a contributing factor. So I'm gonna make sure I trim at least, you know, six months in to make sure my ends are good. And then also I feel like I need to do more, you know, mas scalp massaging when I, wash my hair, you know, that type of thing. Maybe take biotin. I stopped taking biotin. I used to, you know, I feel like it couldn't hurt. Maybe I should start, see if there's any difference because I haven't for a few months. So maybe I can document for you guys, see if there's actually a difference when I'm starting to take biotin. Um, maybe I'll go February without and then, you know, measure my hair and everything again to see if there is any growth and then start taking it and see if that actually promotes more growth. Let me know if you guys would want to see that. Comment down below. Um, 
yeah what are your hair goals for this year comment down below let me know uh, maybe we have the same goals maybe we can help each other and of course if you want to see more hair videos make sure to give this video a thumbs up I'll have a poll to see which video you guys would want to see next um, a curly hair routine um, maybe a flat twist out I feel like I want to see how a flat twist out looks over my whole head because I haven't done that in a long time um, the empty product haul I think I'm just gonna do that regardless but if you guys would rather see a hair routine first and I'd of course be happy to do that um, so yeah comment down below what you want to see of course make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already as well as the bell next to it to make sure you're notified every time I post a video and until next time Oh shit.